hearts as well and we are live okay cool well welcome everybody to the humble ui development the humble ui is a new desktop framework for closure which doesn't involve web or in of any sort just pure jvm and native code uh it's been it's it is in active development it's not recommended for any production use yet because it's still work in progress not even in alpha um so what we're going to try today uh is hopefully i will see chat messages because i'm not sure how it works with this new application but hopefully okay but uh so today uh, we're going to build a presentation software like powerpoint or keynote for for my talk upcoming talk i'm giving a talk on humble ui this wednesday um, in berlin closure berlin meetup so yeah i need something to present it and since it's the ui framework obviously i am obligated to build my own presentation software uh we're going to build from scratch uh even though probably a lot will change that still might be quite useful for people to have an example right okay so first thing first uh let's create no let's create huh, let's call it slides for now let's call it humble slides humble deck yeah okay yeah humble deck whatever uh humble deck add here create depths.eden uh add uh, depths.eden add some depths the first one is org closure closure mvn version 1.11.1 which is very cool version number like uh, I doubt we will ever have a version number as cool as that. Even 111.0 is not as cool, so yeah, it's quite perfect. And we need Humble UI, right? So, Humble UI. <laughs> yeah, okay, one second. I, I need to remember how, how it's done because, like, it's hard to remember really, but I don't have an example. Um, yeah, it's like that, and uh, maybe like that. Okay. Right. So we specify SHA, uh, which is actually a little bit different, probably right now. Yes. So we use this SHA uh, local root. Maybe if I'm going to test some local changes, maybe uh, for sure. Okay. So that brings also skia for us so we'll have that do we want some jvm options i would say that we do well, we certainly need an apple right so yeah i almost forgot about that well i guess we are going to be um careful about this and we are going to have alias under alias uh, we also probably want opts. not server but probably assertions i think closure assertions work even without it but just in case what do we want http probably not json probably not yeah, no, I don't think anything. Yeah, this should be good, right? Okay. Um, yeah, let's remove this for def depths like this. Okay. Uh, we also need a new folder. So we'll see how we're doing. Yeah. So. I don't see any notifications about chat messages, right? And I also I don't understand how <laughs> to make this bigger because, like, what? Uh, can I can I hide this or? 
it has so little space. Hi, hi guys. I mean, I can do that. I can do this. Remove this, of course. Let's do this for now. But extra depth, extend. Yeah, you're right. All right. Okay, and let's start. Uh, well, we're going to need the SRC. Are we going to need dev? Probably yes. Uh, in this case, we're going to be extra pass dev, right? I'm probably going to have a user namespace here, but um, hmm. so this is going to start. Well, let's let's create main for now. Humble deck main. So the problem I have is I need to start application obviously, and I need to start Unravel, right? So I probably write main function here. Def main args. And I probably call created call from here. Whatever. Uh, so what we need now is um, is an example, right? So what we need now is something like this. And basically uh -huh, uh -huh. So this starts application, right? Floating, reset, debug enabled. It's debug, by the way. Yeah, okay. So we need this namespace. Okay, let's go. Um, let's go to main for this. Yes, yes. Then um, we are going to need something like this. Uh, do we need window? Probably not, right? So, yeah, whatever. I'll probably do actually because because we would want to refresh it. So my goal is to have like single function call eventually to in initialize everything. Um, I would say we're not there yet. And what is app? Oh, so app is our app. Okay, so we're going to define app. Um, center we should make alias for this humble deck. Yes. This is our app. Uh, how big we want it, I don't know. Icon we probably don't have yet. Let's change title. Title we want. This we probably don't want. Okay. Oh, well, we do want, but it will probably be okay-ish by default okay so this is our main function um like this uh let's see if we can run it so what is it main main opt right minus m and then namespace, I like this. All right, so this should start our application. I also want to create script folder, which I do on all my projects. And here we, we want, okay, let's add this folder. I, I just finished um, ICFPC contest and there's a lot of 
good stuff we did. And we used Humble UI, so obviously it's good for us. So let's call it run as ash, right? Um, yeah, we have to resort to terminal, but only once. Okay, is anything happening? No. Well, we can do it like that. Okay, let's restart Sublime just in case. Uh -huh, yeah, so plugin was stuck. Okay. Um, So what do we want? What do we want? We want no such name space window. Okay, yeah, so no problem. Sure. I'm also not have not decided about how many namespaces I want for humble UI. Like should it be like single namespace, multiple namespaces, or something like that. Um, we have crash, which is unfortunate, of course. Um, yeah, we forgot uh, to use theme for the application to initialize fonts and stuff. Where is my app? That's what I need. Yeah, so there, there's like humble deck, blah, 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 the title, the label, whatever, right? We close, it closes. So basically what we want now is kind of the same. Maybe we go to user and define main and we also require require this. So we are going to do main main, right? Um, even we can even do this, and those are probably no arguments. And the second thing that we want is an REPL, okay? So that like main application starts without REPL, but when we're in, in development, we start, we start with REPL, right? So and this is what we need, oops. So yeah, one of the, only one of them should go with um, this. We create new file. We call it uh, def user interactive. I don't need interactive, so kind of like this. And Apple search again. So we got tender apple and and <laughs> that's it. Uh, and it's uh, get uh, get some um, yeah. I see, probably that's our problem. Um, I've seen this in Hackathon as well. Uh, I guess the reason is that we need to start this in the future. Yes. So let's see. No. Yes. Yeah, so for some reason, Control C stops to work. Like this works, but Control C stops. Uh, not sure why. Maybe. Um, Maybe we should use this. Maybe I don't know. Minus minus interactive, of course. Right. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's that did the trick, and this way it would work. 
Yeah, because they have one hour quit. But we can do it this way, right? Because my end doesn't walk. My end doesn't walk. Okay, yeah. Okay, and finally, uh, what we want to check is that REPL connection actually works. Uh, let's position this at the left. Um, what? Okay, so this is another hassle. I probably have uh, a stray file here. Which part? This is the wrong part. Somebody has created probably a CFPC created on the Apple port. Yeah, I don't want that. Run the Apple port. This is an Apple port. Yeah, now we got the right port. We reval. We switch. Nothing changes. Why? Because we need to redraw. Yes? No. Not, nothing. <laughs> huh. Okay. Okay, so this is interesting. So uh, this should have changed actually. Oh, oh we don't have dynamic here. So, okay, so the problem is. Hmm. The problem is this application is not dynamic enough. So, um, dynamic. Let's say like this. Well, this is not good. Let's say Okay. Still no, no reaction. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay, so another hypothesis is that we should do something like this. Yes. Yes. So it doesn't work because it didn't expect wire. Um, it's interesting because like it works in my demo application, but doesn't work here. And my demo application also pass app, right? Right. And my app is this. I have some dynamics in there. I have I, I do depend on namespace. So okay, so my guess is uh, my guess is this: we should allow like like look here. Mm, we accept app, right? So app might be hmm. Might be a war. Okay, no, no, no. Uh, let's do. Let's do, do just. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So. Something like war get, with the exception of. Yeah, and there is bar if bar. Okay, so basically what I'm suggesting is if var app, var get app, oh, basically this, otherwise this, right? And here, we want to do the same. Uh, this was, will allow us to use var instead of like, so now, like my hypothesis is it, now it locks on value, but we want it to walk, to lock on var, and then we change the value of the var, basically, and this way it works. Uh, we're going to ditch this for now. I'm going to start and see if it works. 
Okay, so now it's there. We go here. Yes, we probably don't need that. Right? I don't need that. Um, start like this. Yeah, it works now. Uh, but it won't work. We need redraw, right? Yeah, we need redraw. Yeah, so, but redraw is safe, so it's okay. So, like normally, you would put this in in comment, right? Like, like this. But I wonder if we need redraw anywhere. Actually, probably don't. So I'll probably just put this here and. I'll do it like this, like we can trigger it manually or we can evolve namespace and it will re re refresh. Okay, so this is less fortunate, but it's okay. No, it's okay. We can actually make this, I guess, make some commits, right? So let's go to humble UI. My guess is we're going to do a lot of Um, changes today. Okay, so another change that we want probably to do, like I don't like this, um, and I don't like the fact that I want to remember window, but it's, but it's probably okay. It's probably okay. Yeah, I'll think about something. Wars in the app. The UI startup, startup, commit, push, boom, and we want this SHA, we want to go here, yes, we also don't want this one, what I'm going to do is need Boom. Use this and this and return this because I need this. Um, user is okay and repo is okay. Run is okay and main is okay, right? And repo and the funeral one user. Kind of, kind of, kind of what we want, right? Um, just want to abstract the chat. Okay, so um, did we commit? No. Let's do initial or yeah, initial is okay, I guess. And we don't have a repo for that, so let's create. Let's create a repository create here. Humble back. Yeah, I guess so. Create. Oh, I forgot git ignore actually. We need git ignore here. Uh, git ignore. Uh, use. And probably going to. CP cache, target, mm, pretty much, yes, right, right, I'm going to amend this because we haven't pushed yet, and then we are going to do this, and push finally. We didn't do any readme, but yeah, well, readme will come later. Okay, cool. Um, will, will, does it work? Let's see. We'll check out. Yeah, it works. And this works as well, right? Yes. Cool. Okay, so uh, we have our basics set up more or less, right? So we can probably start writing actual application. Um, 
Does it work full screen? Yes, it works full screen. Transitions are less than perfect, but I don't think you can do good transitions on Mac OS. It's Mac OS doing them, not me. And we have our repo. Okay. Okay. Oh. So what what are the basics of PowerPoint? I guess we we, we want to build slide switcher, right? So like switch slides left and right and have some I don't know buttons for it. Okay, so let's do uh, def slide one or slide zero. It's slide zero, yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, this will be implicit, I guess. All right. We'll just call it presentation title. Yes. Oops. Uh, then we will have slide one and slide two. Okay, so this is going to be slide one. And what does it say? Thank you for your attention. It's been a while since I've given a talk. And I don't even remember what people say and stuff like that in cases like that. Still alive, right? Just just want to check. Okay, it looks like it. Looks like we are alive. Okay, okay, okay. Um, this is just stupid how small the chat is. And there is no pop-up version of it. And like, if I only could like, like there is so much space here, right? and I and I don't know what this is, for example. But yeah, there. No, okay, uh, doesn't matter. Okay, so we have three slides, right? We, we probably want uh, slides. This is going to be an array. Slide one, slide two, right? And notice is all of those are values, right? So it's just closure values. Nothing tricky going on. Yeah. But this will create like Firefox and yeah, whatever. It's it's alright. Green coder, hi. Yeah, I know you can. I can open this from the from the browser. I, I I actually installed the Twitch Studio in the hope that it will give me desktop style notification like the ones that like pop up here and like hey somebody just wrote a me message to you. Or maybe I need to write it myself. Okay, so uh, but doesn't matter. Okay, so def ones atom slide um, oh current okay uh, and this is going to be atom zero right and anyway, so um, basically what we are going to do is uh, use UI dynamic uh, we are going to use current current and it's going to be I also forget and collection slides current okay so we're going to do it like that and we are going we actually do need <laughs> redraw as a function so let's move it here mm -hmm. Okay, and for 
search guide, guide, and draw. Old new, when not equal, old new, but it's probably always just redraw. Okay. Okay. Um, where is my application? It's here. I probably have to check on my washing machine. Yeah, it makes us weird sounds, but it seems okay. Okay, so whenever we change current, we can actually try swap current ink. Boom. Boom. And now we can go. Here. Okay, cool. Um, Yeah. I don't remember, like, watch, does it, can I validate or not? No, it's something else, right? Okay, okay. Uh, let's build buttons, right? So what we want is, so we have our slides, right? On top of that, we probably want a row. Well, actually, you know what? So slides is going to be here, but we don't want. Well, we kind of want this. Let's do it like that. I'll explain what it does, but basically what we want right now, a UI button, uh, swap current deck, UI label ref, and next, let's, let's get it working first and we'll like, make it pretty. And label current and probably some gaps here and there so that it looks decent. Okay, so we have this, right? Uh, basically, this is your power PowerPoint, right? So <laughs> what else do you need? Um, yeah, but now of course we make it. Uh, uh, yeah, I shouldn't do that. Um, We, we need a function save add um, x y let oh, basically plus x y mean of count slides mean count slides actually deck count slides 
points on max zero right and here we are going to do save add minus one and here save add one okay and we need to reset current zero okay so now this doesn't work and we basically can only go between yeah if you if you're annoyed by this i am i know i am annoyed uh, we can do it like this okay uh so alignment is uh, like we three fourths from the bottom which is not probably what we always want we probably want a constant amount from the bottom so that would be like this and like this yes let me see yeah so now we are like 100 from the bottom but 100 seems a lot so let's let's do 20 i don't know yeah could we make button inactive probably we probably can but um i'm not going to right now actually No, just okay. So this is our. We probably want to make it prettier, like give it a background, right? Semi-transparent background. Actually, I would prefer. So um. So what we are going to do is we are going to do UI rect. Um, it takes a fill. Uh, like this. We are going to do it very transparent black. Yes. And we are going also to give this some padding like this. Yes, and we need to import the paint. This is why I'm like, and right now I have to remember which namespace is which. So this is how it looks. Yeah, probably if we are using black, we should use white color. But we are going to style the counter and probably give it fix it breathe. And yeah, okay, so. How wide are the buttons? We don't know, right? Uh, but let's say we make them 50. It feels a lot, 25. And yes, I know it's very verbose, but what can you do? Mm. Okay, now time to go to the source. Do we have options? Yes, and we have padding left and padding right. Okay, okay, yeah, that makes sense. We have 20 by default, but wait, what? It should work. Hmm. Maybe voices. Yeah. Okay, so I guess this doesn't work, right? Padding right, padding. 
or padding right from opt. Oh, because it goes up. Okay, okay, so yeah, this is stupid of me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we have our button, yes. It doesn't stretch as much as I want it to. Maybe it does. Um, of course, you can make like all of those, you can make like variables and stuff. I probably should, but we're just playing for now, so exploration, right? But, um, huh. So, for example, this 25, if we make it 50. So, I'm almost. Oh, yeah, I forgot. That's a second gap. That's, that's a problem. No, that's okay. Yeah, now it's centered, and they all, all three have the same width. Okay, so. Um, can we make it round the direct? Yes. And to do that, we have clip round the direct. And I think this is what we are going to do. Um, let's go with four. No, let's do it. Let's go with eight. Okay, yeah, this is much better, right? And we need probably like change the colors, uh, but we'll get there. Okay. Uh, see films, how I'm doing. I'm doing great as well, thanks. Uh, one, 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 one point is they want to like mention about, about all this experience is how fast we can see the changes basically, right? And that makes it uh, very nice to work with, like uh, UI plus REPL. Like basically the idea of starting this UI framework was because UI plus REPL uh, is uh, like killer combo, right? And right now, uh, if like you don't see it, but like if I put it here, for example, and change color, for example, here, right? And it, it changes instantly, like there is no, um, no reload, no, uh, I don't know, flickering, no pause, nothing. It's just instant. It's like a while in REPL and the same instant it gets updated. Like it's the very same frame. This is super fast feedback loop. And because of this, this I probably should, we should probably do it so like this, like put it here. We don't need that much stuff actually right so this is our presentation whatever you can make it as go as long as here okay um yeah i kind of like this this is transparency but i kind of like not 20 is not good but <laughs> um yeah this is basically yeah, yeah, one sec. You know what we want? We want also here, I think we have BG color. This is a color that is used to to clear the um, canvas. And for some reason, it's, it's in window settings, not in theme settings. It should be here eventually, I guess. And we also have to restart our application because, or we could have recreated window, but yeah, what's the fun is that in that? Um, yeah, so now it's white. Okay. Now this is why this is uh, whatever. This is switching. Have you using for what are you using for hot development, hot without reloading? Closure, closure. It's like a closure superpower. You just eval code and it gets uh, applied to running application. Basically, it's, there is no 
nothing special. Uh, you can do that with almost any closure application. Uh, you can just connect it to it uh, over the network. You send comments and uh, code and it gets evolved without restart. Do I reload the namespace? Yes, yes. Uh, so uh, I basically press Control B here and it sends the whole file to be evaluated. Do I have a file watcher that does it for me? No, I don't. Uh, it could be set up, yeah, but uh, I, yeah, maybe it's, it's worth a shot. I don't know. Um, I get I get used to it, but I'm used to it. But no, yeah, it gets trickier once you have multiple namespaces, right? So, like, then you might need to evolve like several namespaces to see your changes because like uh, dependencies they just uh, track uh, the closeover values and you change uh, basically to other value, but old value doesn't go anywhere. Um, it gets tricky, but Clojure also has ways to deal with that. There's tools, no space, and blah, blah, blah. So if you get bigger, uh, if you're writing production application, you probably should get serious about it and uh, set up uh, infrastructure for proper reloading, the one that actually like tracks files that actually changed and reloads them, in, unloads, and then loads them in order. But uh, for like quick, quick uh, <laughs> interactive section uh, without too much setup, you just like send code and uh, like see what happens basically. And it works like for like because it's so simple and because it works, I don't know, half of the time at least, uh, you usually don't bother to be doing anything more complicated. You just. Eh? If it works, like, why should I bother? Um, yeah. Let's do, you know what, let's do also. How's for matter? It's percent, okay, so I like. So it's percent D or percent I. Percent D, right? Yeah, and I feel like this one should be wider or maybe like this. Um, pam, 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 pam. Yeah, so now we see total count of slides and our progress. I'd love to see the Shadow CLJS experience for this. Um, while Shadow CLJS is closure script, right? We don't, it's not closure script, it's just closure. So I'm not sure if that will make sense. I'm also not sure what Shadow CLJS experience is. When I was writing Closure Script, uh, FigWheel was uh, Shadow CLJS didn't exist, I think. So we used FigWheel, but in FigWheel, yeah, basically you save a file and it automatically reloads for you. You can totally do that here as well. Uh, but like the only difference is like in FigWheel, I get file reload working, but I always struggle with setting up REPL, right? So like eval arbitrary code. Here, I'm just, I'm making sure that REPL works like I, I can send like this, for example, this form, right? Uh, not the whole file. So I, this is important for like testing or checking out ideas and stuff like that. Okay, 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 okay. Um, You know what? You know what? Uh, label. So label, which color, which paint does it use? So it uses paint ops, fill text context. So it uses fill text context, okay? Uh, 
So what we are going to do is we are going. This is our. Let's let's split it <laughs> because uh, controls right. This is controls and it starts from here and goes to here. So like this. And this is basically padding and positioning of these controls. This is slide itself. The stack, the seam. Uh, okay, and what we are going to do is we have this context. This context uh, fill fill text um, paint fill. And we're going to use white. So because the background of this thingy is okay, so we messed something up, right? Current. Uh -huh. Well, we can take current as argument. It's no problem. Or we can write our own. Yeah, okay. So now this looks better a little bit. Maybe maybe make it 50% transparent or I don't know, like this. But buttons don't look good, right? So we want to style buttons as well and, uh, and maybe make them square. Uh, can we make them square? Um, so buttons are styled uh, like this is before I added theme. Like here we have different theme, blah blah blah, uh, with all the arguments like this. But in buttons we don't have that. And also I'm not sure we have resizable. Wait, what? What if I do it like this? What happens? It's kind of okay-ish, right? <laughs> um, so I guess we will have to... Make some changes, but this is expected. I, I expect that we will we will have to make some changes. Okay, so basically, UI height fifty. I, I just I just want uh, buttons to be square. Thirty uh, five is too small. Forty. 40 is okay ish. Let's make 50. Yeah, 50 is okay. Okay, so um, yeah, the problem with it is basically let's let's restart. Should I actually Yeah I can I can I can position this um, What I can do window window rect window I think something like this yes can I do it yes and it is two two sixty seventy six three twenty four and the last one is thirteen eighty eight okay so this is uh, this are uh, sizes of my window. Alter back. What I am going to do is Basically, set window position and set window size. All 
All right, 36, 76, this position, and same goes. Yeah, uh, so basically, yeah, this is temporary, but this is development workflow. Like, this is supposed to be need to start to update uh, dependency, and our, in theory, our buttons should become. What, what happened? Something is not right. For some reason it decided not to start. Okay. Um, yeah, we need, you know what we need? Unfortunately, there is another gotcha. Yeah, so like Humble UI is is full of gotchas like this for now. Boom. Uh, well, uh, yeah, <laughs> it works. Uh, we have what we want kind of out of buttons. Ah, we also need some, yeah. There's controls. At least to increase this by one. Yeah, so this is one of three, two of three, three of three. Okay. So we have square buttons right now. We have. How do I remove this? I'm getting annoyed. Uh, maybe I will start pop out chat actually. And so the trick is I need to use different browser because otherwise. I'm switching to Firefox all the time, and of course it doesn't resize to the size. Oh, fuck it. It's horrible. Okay, let's read it. Um, where are we? Here, right? Uh, what, where is our application? Here. Okay, cool. I also think that uh, probably my no user CLJ. There is this, which we might or might not want. Okay. And this basically shows uh, this graphs of like times how long it takes to process event. But yeah, for our example, probably don't want that right now. And the, another option is set floating stuff, and basically it is we can do is um, 
Okay, and yeah, let's do false. Eventually, we, we might we might want it, but not now. So yeah, what what actually changes is now this window is on top of everything else. Uh, but this is only for development, of course. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Now what we are going to do is go to buttons and move this to the theme. We have theme uh, like this, and as you can see, it has all sorts of like. Topics, I don't know what how you call it, but stuff actually. Should I make font bigger? I remember that before people used to ask me about this. So I just forgot about it. Yeah. Just in case. Right. Um yeah, and we probably want a button here as well. And basically this is what we want, All right? Um, actually, border radius. I don't have it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's cool. Um, H E Y button. A dot here. Um, and we fill it with default values and th this will let us change it. Uh, we also want So button padding is Wait, what? What what's what's what is this? P padding. Oh I didn't want to use word padding. Huh. Okay, but yeah, but, uh, but basically uh padding, 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 padding. Uh H U I button No no no, no let's not do this. Mm Basically, they all gonna be paint fill. Border radius is gonna be four. And this is gonna be 20, 10, 20, 10. Actually, 10 is leading, so it's like. <laughs> and Howard is this, and BG is this. Okay. Not sure why it is. Okay, so this works. Okay. HUI button. Okay. So obviously, obviously. Um, HUI button slash keys BG BG active BG Howard. Right. Well, basically, it's all those keys uh, without like default assets there if you want them. Um, Why, 
might well have link. Basically like this. We don't need this. We go here. Should it work? Probably it probably should, yes. Um but it doesn't, right? Paint can be cast to character. What? Uh, so we fucked up somewhere. Um hopefully not here. PG active, PG Howard. Oh, because I tried to make feel from it, but it's already a feel. Yeah. Yeah. And we get it back. Okay. So, uh, and now, so yeah, basically, this context here, uh, what we want is uh, we want these three keys. Okay. Redefined. Probably we want um, background be invisible. Well, this will not make it invisible, but we probably want something like this. So it's like black, but yeah, black here. And this is just should be completely transparent. So basically you hover, boom, boom. And you know what? I think uh, I want to get rid of this padding right now. So we hover. Yeah. Um, okay, so we probably don't need border radius. So HUI button. Border radius zero. Right, okay. And because we use clipping, so this uh, the right boundary is clipped to what we want. I'd say it looks pretty decent. Uh, maybe now we can make this like this. I wonder what happens if we have. Uh, it's like like this. Maybe a slightly bigger, right? What feels okay? Yeah, I I now now I actually like this toggle. Yeah, uh, okay, so uh, this is another problem that we have in Humble UI right now uh, is uh, the way state management works. Basically, we recreate the UI uh, or parts of the UI on change. And with that, uh, like basically when I click, I click here, the button gets recreated under the cursor and it's not hovered anymore. And it will not be hovered until I move my mouse. So if I move a little bit, yeah, it's now hovered. I, I made sure that clicking works through, through that, but not visual representation, right? Um, could it be fixed? That's a good question. That's actually a very good question. So we have this clickable, which is a type and basically it has a state hover, right? And when the component is created, basically Howard is false, right? Um, and when we draw it, we don't know if it's Howard or not because we don't have mouse position, right? 
but we actually do have mouse position and we have it in oh, we don't have mouse position okay to make this work we will need uh, mouse position uh, in draw for example or on creation well not on creation no, on creation you can you can have it on creation in draw probably um yeah that's going to be complicated We can we can do this actually we can we can um, have like here we have window scale and we can have mouse position actually Okay, I might just fix it right now, right? Uh, this is going to be uh, like this. Oh, fuck. Okay, so this is my last position. can actually make this tile we don't need atom here when every yeah okay so core when every case x y event so if event has mouse position we are going to reset uh, mouse pause. Actually, we reset I point X Y game, and here we are going to do this. Okay, so this way we will have mouse position actually. Okay, in theory, let's actually check if that's correct. And then in clickable, we can uh, set Howard. Um, why don't I have type here? I wonder. I probably should be enough. This is also very important because we don't want to. Miss this warnings anywhere. Uh, contains child react mouse pause dx, right? And basically, here. Well, whatever. Yeah, okay, so this kind of should work kind of ish the parameters now yeah that, that is expected I guess yay so I kind of fixed it so now after recreating the, all the buttons and we, we okay <laughs> um, another solution here could have been that we don't recreate buttons right because buttons actually don't depend on Slide number. Um, what we kind of want to? Okay, 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 okay. So what else? What else? Uh, we probably want to switch using 
Mm -hmm. We have triangles in Unicorp. Triangle. They do, right? They look decent. And to say if we go with triangle, kind of looks better, a little bit, right? I hope the right one is. Well, why didn't it find this one? It kind of looks better, I, I would say. Uh, I can use SVG, but I am um, like <laughs> I don't want to bother with SVG here. Like it's just not worth it right now. But but I could yeah like this this definitely works. Uh, SVG would work. Okay. Mm, yeah, I could kill Safari. What else? What else? What else? What what I was going to do? Oh, keyboard navigation. Yeah yeah yeah. Um, well, I guess we put it here as well. Or, or outside. I don't know. Yeah, let's, let's put it here as well. Um, so, uh, way it works is key. Yeah, it's basically key listener. Okay. Uh, UI key listener. Let me remember what it does. So basically, you, you pass key okay, down, um, which is going to be a function of. Event. Oh, well, you, you do want event, right? And you can go key E. Key could be left. In this case, we do this. Key can be right. We do this. And the rest is history. Okay, let's see. No, that doesn't work. <laughs> um, hmm. Okay, let's print and see what's key left, key right. Why oh, doesn't it work? What the fuck? Uh, Wait, what, what, what? Okay, 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 okay. I probably want also nil here. Just we. That doesn't work. Ah, oh, because I forgot. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. No, it should redraw itself. Do you want to return an fan from key listener? What? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, of course. I feel stupid. Boom. Yeah, and now you can switch with left, right, probably. Um, what do we want? We want to go first, last, and we want to use space as well, right? Oh. I, I used to be... Well, I used to. I have some macro in Humble UI somewhere, which like um, used here, I guess, for keyboard navigation because it's like a tricky, tricky matter. Um, let me find it. Yeah, this one. When case, and then. 
this condition must be true and this key must be this key. Okay. Or I don't know, should I should I bother? <laughs> um, basically Yeah, left, uh, in this case, we want like right is either right or space, right? Um, keys, so we want key and we want modifiers like this, right? So basically this is key. This is go left, this is go right. Um, and comment is basically mark comment. Okay. So if if we press Command left, right? Uh, we add, I don't know, minus million, right? If we go right, we add plus million. If we just go left, if we just go. Right. Uh, cont doesn't require default value. Okay. Yeah, it seems to work. All right. And we want this thingy to, to disappear, right? So basically, on mouse move, it should appear. But then, if you don't touch mouse for some time, it disappears. Kind of. Like in real presentations, right? And then we'll probably want to scale the slide to full window something like that okay i'm going to grab a glass of water one second We're doing it all right. Okay. So disappearing, right? Um, hmm. How do we handle that? How do we handle that? I guess. Isn't your key listener run on every row? Yeah, so key listener just listens to all events. Uh, like the two main paths, one is drawing and one is event handling. Uh, they, they happen independently, so you either draw or you handle events. Uh, so this might be multiple events without drawing. Um, but uh, this is also like not settled yet, but for now all events flow to all components. So basically 
Right now, if I write another Kelly scene somewhere, it will also receive these events and will also handle them. Uh, there are some actually key listener specifically might do something like oh. no no it doesn't so it could uh, it could like uh, take value from key listen this this function if it returns true it doesn't pass down to the um, the children right but it doesn't do that so for now like if you want focus like text inputs it's a different story so yeah it, well, i mean you have to implement it i have focus system for text inputs right now but it's separate from key listener it's actually quite interesting like how how browser system for example works or windows or whatever it's it's not 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 obvious to me, actually. I've tried to understand, but it's not simple. Just a slightly wider cursor. Uh, disappearing. OK, so we need timers. Timers, timers, timers. I think we have timers here in Humble UI. Yes, we have schedule and we have timer task and we have some timers. So in theory, I can. What, what is time? Wait, what timer is this? Oh, we have timer here. Okay. Um, in theory, I can schedule something here and it returns. What is cancel function, right? Okay, okay, so um, let's call hide timer and it's at a nil. Um, okay, we need to mouse move event. Um, hmm. <laughs> I don't remember. Hoverable mouse button, mouse button. No, I don't have anything like mouse listener, like we have key listener, right? Would we want to? Probably yes. So we have event itself, but... Uh, um, no way no component that like you can use i can i can <laughs> yeah i have to build component myself i of course i don't want to build component myself so what we're going to do is actually to do it here mouse listener mouse listener and I want to remember which type of events we have. So we have mouse move, we have mouse scroll, and we have mouse button, yes? Okay. Mouse move, and mouse scroll, and mouse button. We have child, we have child direct, seems. Uh, eventually we could also add something like mouse over mouse out stuff like that but for now let's be simple let's stay simple okay so we have this um blah, 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 blah. we draw child there's e when mouse move event all right and mouse move event and on mouse move I kind of like that on mouse move event 
same goes for mouse scroll and mouse button okay so this will let us set the callback Oh, I guess we can. Oh, ah, it's okay. On mouse. I mean, I feel like the word mouse is a little bit redundant here, right? And this is obviously mouse listener. On move, on scroll, scroll, on button, child, new. Okay, um, oops. So this goes to UI mouse listener, mouse listener. Okay, clickable. Why, why do we have clickable here? We need clickable protocols, print, we also don't need core, core, we need okay. to close the we need to okay. uh, probably don't need clickable here, and I'm going to print here. Okay, and uh, key listener, key mouse listener, mouse listener, okay. And we'll do it here. Okay, now we can, um, in theory, we can do mouse listener. Okay, so let's cancel. Uh, uh, yeah, we could just reevolve Humble UI because we have included from sources. So, yeah, we could. But. Closure SMR stream. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Kind of, kind of. Um, okay, mouse listener. Um, is this getting too big or not? I'm not sure. Probably this will be better on move All right uh, event which we don't care about but we care about closing parentheses okay so on move All right uh, hide timer uh, controls visible nothing true Yes, kind of. And here we actually what we want is core schedule. Um, Controls timer, hide controls, and basically hide controls is uh, reset false, reset timer new, yeah. um, hide controls, and delay, and delay, for example, a second. Is it reasonable? I think it's reasonable. Um, because closure needs everything to be in order, 
Okay. And we probably won't redraw him. Okay. Uh, next thing. Hide controls. Yeah, the next thing is... Mouse move, basically. Uh, what we want here is cancel timer controls timer yeah. uh, cancel timer right uh, reset controls timer and basically this well actually we want probably Hide controls. Schedule hide controls, and basically this is what we want. All right, so cancel timer. Then we reset controls. Oops. Okay, this is this is goes next to redraw here. Okay, okay. Uh, so pass event which we don't need, but maybe we also want those. Um, Neil. Um, what about height controls? Why do I need to declare this? Wait, where are height controls? Oh, because we schedule here, right? Probably don't need this. No such name, space core. Okay, yeah, this is this I can deal with. Mm -hmm. In theory, after a second, this should disappear. Okay, no, it doesn't. Um, print lame core now. I mean, uh, do you have debugging enclosure? Yes, debugging enclosure. Okay, so what happens? We kind of schedule and we hide controls. Ah, we don't react to it, but we can, it kind of works, yes. Um, we don't react to it, and this is important. And yeah, this is, it needs to redraw as well. Um, current, yeah, this was moved way too, too far. Should we? Nah, okay. So basically what we want, we want mouse listener still, we want key listener. And after that, Or we can actually rename this probably the show control. Right. Show controls. Um, if I press next, should I show it or not? Probably not, right? But uh, mouse move, I probably should. Um, would it work with Neil? I don't know when UI dynamic controls visible basically. I don't know if it will work. Yeah, 
and doesn't because So I move mouse here, I move over here, it appears, then it disappears. Uh, no, I need key listeners, of course. Of course I need key listeners. But after that, I don't need anything, basically. Okay, now I don't see anything at all. Why? Uh, because probably this thing is misplaced. Yeah, uh, so... Huh. Maybe animation would be nice. That's one thing. Another thing is what? Delay, right? How much do we want it to like 5,000 or what? Let's do quick time player. Let's open some video from, I don't know. We have MP4, and I have some MP4. Okay, so what happens? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, it's around five. And if I move out, it disappears completely. Right? If, I, if I move move mouse outside of window, it disappears completely. Uh-huh. Well, inside it stays like for five seconds, okay? Okay, uh, I'll take a small break for, for a couple of minutes and be right back. I need to change this.
Okay, we are back. But you see chat, like you see chat twice, basically, right? You see it on the right. And you see in my, uh, my window, well, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, if only I had second monitor here or even a phone to check it. But my phone is my webcam, so yeah. It's unfortunate. Okay, but anyways, let's continue. Uh, where did we end it up? Well, we probably don't need those. So we ended up with realization that um, basically QuickTime hides controls. Wait, why, why doesn't it hide controls? What the fuck? How does it work? What? Okay. <laughs> it was too soon to remove. Uh, Okay, I guess it's five seconds. No, yeah, let's let's return to one because it's impossible to test with five. But I had a feeling it's yeah, basically. Okay, okay, kind of works for me. Um. Let's remove, let's start. We probably want to start with hidden controls, right? Controls visible, false. Probably don't want this. Aha. But moving mouse outside kind of works, right? Okay, okay, okay. So uh, this is what we are going to do. Uh, we are going to do This is what we are going to do. Okay, so draw a uh, set over um, contains contains child direct I point mouse pause CTX. Okay, so uh, over. Well, do we need this in draw? Probably not. Okay. Um, okay, so what we need is when core, when every case x, y uh, event, yes. Oh, basically, when every is my macro, uh, which works like when sum, but when sum checks that this value is not null, and when every checks that uh, this values are not null, right? Because we can have event, but it can have no x, y, right? But we're interested in x, y specifically. Um, okay. So over is, yeah, this is, uh, has to be mutable, mutable. Over, on, over, on, out. Okay, so this is, okay, uh, one second.
This was my cup of tea. Okay, okay, okay. Let's check studio. Still live. We still have viewers. That's good. That's good. Um, yeah, and basically. Oh yeah, yeah. We need we needed it in draw in case in case it was recreated. So just like this button. All right. Okay, yeah, so, mm-hmm, 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 uh, but, like, when it happened, um, if we're over and not over anymore, and on out, on out, Right, when we, are, we were not over and over now and on over. Right. Okay. So this is what we do here and basically on over, on out, on, on out, child false new, right? It falls. Doesn't feel too reliable, uh, but what can you do? What do you mean? Okay, okay, it's, it's just question mark. Good, so we have mouse listener, okay, cool. Uh, so we need to implement on move on over. Basically, if we... But we also need to like to cancel timer or not, or is it okay to not cancel timer? Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, this is what I was talking about. Okay, so how it worked, but move also worked. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess we need... Yes. Should we only call when we are over? I don't know. Maybe. It's too much. Now it doesn't print anything at all. What the fuck?
It should work, right? Why doesn't it work? Okay, so we don't need this, we need this, uh, don't need this, and this. Okay, draw false, run false. Boom. Huh. So I guess uh, mouse over doesn't work. And it was not over. And become over. Alright. Okay, so basically our rect Ah yes, 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 yes. This is because we have it um We want to track this over the whole thing, not on the controls level, so it basically works, but uh, this collapses, and um, yeah, we don't want it here actually. Let's move it from here. Can move, put it here, I think. Yeah, now it works. And if I don't move. Maybe delay, animation, but whatever. Uh, I'll change to five seconds uh, for sure. Uh, print, I'll remove this print. Okay, and this print, and this print, okay. Mm. Okay, for now, for now, that would work. Should we commit? We probably should commit this, right? Um, okay, we start with humble UI. In humble UI, what we have? We have mouse listener. Yes. Uh, no, I can't commit humble UI just yet. It's actually see that it works because we might break uh, some examples well, actually it's okay where is the button no actually we didn't break anything okay that's good oh we did break this <laughs> okay yeah we'll have to fix that I went public slider Okay, so I went bubbling, right? Okay, let me move it here. 
um, run the problem, but the acts. Well, basically, I see I have to pass button ops here everywhere, but we can uh, what we can do is do oops you with context like this and pass this here. And this will be HUI button button uh, button opt. Yeah, I don't need that. That's true. Well, I broke something, but so we can we can have icons here. Okay, uh, but uh, we'll fix it later. Okay, so right now what we have button, buttons, uh, or UI button. Okay, mouse listener. This is uh, pass mouse pause in context, which is also huge, clickable, blah blah. Yeah. This is what we need. Um, let's copy Shra of it. Depths. Uh, here. This is our Shra. And stage, stage, stage. Okay, uh, what we did we do? We did basically everything. <laughs> um, slide controls, basically, right? Controls, hide, on time out, timer. Okay. This is what we did. Um, repo, let's go. Okay, so we have our slides clicker. We can also click with keys. Yes, yes, it goes away. Cool. Uh, okay, so next thing I think we have that we have to do is um, scaling. So, so the idea is, is, is like this: we specify the slide, right? Uh, so right now it's it's very small, basically, like it wouldn't work, right? Uh, but you cannot also you also can't rely on window size. What you can do you know, is you can measure the slide content 
you know the boundaries of your window and you basically can just scale it up um, and that's what we're gonna do so for that we'll have to write custom component this will go right about here well, there is no way around it um, no, let's copy, I don't know, padding, padding is good, probably, something like this, but uh, it's going to be called scalar, uh, don't need anything but, re uh, but child measure, so measure is tricky, but we basically me measure child, right? Measure child, um, and then we have to we have to scale it. Hmm. Okay, and um, so this is this is the sizes of our child. Basically, we can scale by width or by height, right? And then we choose the smaller one, I guess, so it fits. Yeah, scale W is basically width of the constraint divided by width of child size scale age the same but mm -hmm. with height uh, final scale is mean okay so this is our final scale and basically we do multiply uh, this is measure and then we basically do the same same here yeah. mm. kind of like this okay so it's basically uh, child size measure child in this case it's rect the scale Wait, 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 wait. Basically, we can just measure this, right? Because we need this, this context on rect. We don't need this stuff at all. We kind of need scales, though. Hmm. Okay, we can just repeat all, all kind of we can extract this or repeat it now we can the, the problem is we need scale that's 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 the trick um, It won't let me do this. Okay, this is our child size. Child react make XUWH. So 
So basically, we take x, y, rect. Okay, so this way we set it up, then we, we go to canvas. Uh, this is another namespace that we have. Mm -hmm. Canvas, we have, no, this is the wrong canvas. We have with canvas, canvas with canvas, canvas. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know how it looks, but yeah, it's. What can you do? Um, basically, what we want is. What we want is. Uh, translate. Canvas uh, like this scale canvas scale and core draw child child context uh, and it needs a rectangle so basically it's a rect make exile H no zero zero it's child size height child size and this is basically what we return mm -hmm. and child to close and scale I don't need that, but a lot. Auto closable. Okay, so this one we probably need. I'm not sure why protocols. Um, I point Direct. canvas. Huh, interesting. So if I, I have a marker here. has this type annotation but I have to import it myself what I don't want to do that what if uh, closure is hard closure is hard. Okay, so it works, right? Uh, now what do we do? We put actually a scalar here. <laughs> and now it doesn't. Okay, and this is because it needs also child scale. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Scale, right, scale, translate. We can, you know what? We can replace this like that. Well, OK. 
can we? Yeah, I think we can. I think we can. And we can get rid of this child context direct child con uh, because boom and now we're scaled right and different slides have different whatever and if you change the scales to fit so the the main idea is like I I can't because it's it sets to be over the top I can't make it Should be, yeah, I can make it full screen. Now it looks starts to look like presentation, right? Uh huh. Uh, we probably need some padding, but I, I like I like this feeling. Um, we probably need some padding somewhere, right? Around this, so. I probably also want scare child, scare child, yeah, so just to hide this um, child direct. Okay, and scare like this. Uh, yeah, let's do padding. I don't know, let's do 10. The trick is that padding is going to um, to scale as well, which is fine by me. Kind of. We can put it outside and then it won't scale, or we can put it inside and it will scale. I don't know what's, what's, what's better. But it's kind of cool, isn't it? Um, maybe, <laughs> so, uh, next thing that we need is we need bullet points. <laughs> yeah, because, because it's, it's PowerPoint, right? Uh, well, uh, I probably can make a talk that has no bullet points at all, but I'm not sure. Do we need markdown parser? I also not sure. Uh, I'm also not sure. Uh, we, we certainly need. Oops, sorry. We certainly need images. And um, let's let's be, let's do an image. Okay. So I guess we'll start with Figma. We probably need sixteen by nine, like like default. If I if I'm going to present from my laptop. I, have, I do have HDMI, and it's not gonna be 16 by now. Now we need 16 by nine. Yeah. Okay. So this is 16 by nine. Um, I have humble UI somewhere. Humble UI. And here, right? I, I need the logo of it. Um, I have no idea where the logo is. Pro proper logo. Here. Huh. Yes. Okay, I should probably move it somewhere. Uh, but okay, okay. Humble UI. Right. The biggest here. The 
text goes here. Do I need a background? What would we do? Oops. I don't. Uh, the thing is, I cannot make like dark because logo won't work on dark background. So we have to go with white. Do we want to emulate skies or something? Or maybe make it green? No, probably not. Or probably not. Yeah, that's not. Let's not. Let's write something like closure Berlin. Closure Berlin. They have a logo, right? Top. We should have a logo. Everybody should have a logo. Okay. I hope this is going to look exactly like this. There's five people in the room. Um, logo, 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 logo. I don't see a logo. You see a logo? <laughs> it's probably uh, the TV tower, right? It's what else could it be? I mean. This is so old. Uh, let's see photos, maybe. Uh, almost like like this, but but with yeah yeah this one yeah but, uh, this is that's what we need. Uh, or this one. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. No, no, doesn't work. Doesn't work. And you know, I want to make them a logo. Uh, but we, we can use this one. This one works. Um, copy, paste. Closure Berlin. Um, make it large. I don't know. Um, hmm. It takes so much space. I don't know. Um, yeah, uh, I don't like this font, but what's, what's this font? I'm not sure what this one is. It's, uh, it's even possible to figure it out. Oh, this, is, this is worse. <laughs> um, yeah. It's probably some gam. Well, it is something geometric, but a veneer or something like that. Do I have that? Uh, probably not. But what do we need? We need probably something like Nikitonsky, right? Twitter logo. Oh, probably this would work. Inspect switch copy. Now, how, how do I? Fuck. Yeah, it works. Nice. And we need to also f f f color, right? Ninety nine, one five five to forty. Okay, kind of like that. Okay, so we have the Twitter logo scalable. Okay. So let's think. So we need uh, something like 
this maybe minimize logos balance them out slightly bigger and yeah, this is real this will probably confuse people, but what if you do this? Yeah, this feels all right. Okay, so let's make this twice as small. Let's make this twice as small. Move them together, closer. Mm -hmm. Let's put them here. Yes. I probably want to group this composition. Mm, kind of like that. I also want um, date in there somewhere, which uh, has to have. Kind of, uh, actually, you know what? We have San Francisco symbols. Okay. And uh, we have multicolor. No. Okay. Kind of ugly, but text. I agree that it should be kind of red ish. Okay, let me remove this for for the time being. Okay, uh, we want those distributed. And And I also want GitHub. GitHub logo. Uh, like this one. It's also a switch, so we copy it, paste it, we move it here, we scale it. GitHub is black and white, right? Because it's like has no colors. I guess. I still kind of want this composition. Where do I put it? Here. Ah, I have no choice but make this even smaller. <laughs> uh, 35, so let's make it 15. Let's make it 20. Let's make it, I said 20. Sigma. Okay, so we we'll make it twenty, forty, forty something because it's slightly smaller, like this, and this is going to be forty for sure. Okay, uh, we run this all centered. Okay, so this is my comp. Nah, 20 is too much. Let's do the row 15. Okay, 
model and You know what, we can put it in center, I guess. Make this flower here. Make this guy move this guy a little bit. It's bad. I don't know. I didn't want to turn him. What if we move? We move two here and two here, or even like this, or even. You know what? There's no reason why we can't. Yes, I know this is strange, but... This is unusual, let's say. Okay, what about font? I don't like it. So, so about text. This is better. No. Okay, let's leave this avenue. Do we like it? Do we do like it? Do like it? Okay, this is our first slide. So basically, the idea is uh, call it zero zero zero. Wait, why aren't you here? Or slide zero. I don't know. Export. Let's call it. Yeah, slide zero is okay. Um, PNG export slide zero, and basically we go here. Humble deck. We create resources and save it here. Okay, so we have our first image. Okay. Okay. Um, still disappointed with calendar icon, but I guess it's okay. I kind of like it. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Um, yeah, so our task is now to um, to display this, right? Do we need Firefox? No, I don't need Firefox. Might need. Okay. So, uh, and we also will need icon. Icon I can steal from uh, basically from here. Um, okay, and I think it was Mike. Uh, icon is important, um, the rest not so much. Okay, so now what we want is we want to change actually slide zero to uh, it's gonna be image. I think it's UI image on SRC. 
your image, your file resources, slides, your location. Okay, how is that? Um, mm -hmm. Slide, not slides. Okay, okay. Well, yeah, here we have it. Slide zero. And uh, if we move it to full screen, it kind of works, kind of works. Um, <laughs> I can see that some pixels, but. Oh. I guess what's this, what's the resolution of Mac screen? Oh, well, this is full HD, so it's probably all right. I also have an idea that maybe for for the time being we are going to do this. So let's cancel. Let's start again. So you can see the difference between image and actual slide. Okay, so this actual slide, right? Uh, also, okay, so we will have padding around it. Okay, okay, okay. No, no, we don't want padding. We don't want padding. Um, let's remove the padding. Okay. Um, Kind of, kind of like that. We can show images. Okay, so probably what? Bullets, right? Yeah, we can do bullets as well. Uh, let's make a mid this. Kind of like it. Um, should I commit images as well? Like, this is not going to be really reusable in the deck. At least not for now. Yes. So I can kind of that's, that's a very strange cursor. I kind of kind of like how it works. So yeah, let's make one slide with bullets um, to see how it goes and then maybe finish it. Up. Another thing is that this is this is not lazy actually. So what we can do is do this. Um, right, this is again just poor closure. Basically here, where is our slide? Well, I guess I should start. Um, yeah, and basically this will ensure that we don't start. Um, This will ensure that we don't load everything on start up, but like just as we, just as we go, uh, which is, I guess is important, right? Oh, I guess here you can see the transparency. Actually, yeah, there's one more thing that I wanted to work today, but on today, but maybe later. Um, did we commit? No, we didn't commit. Okay, so okay, let, let's move. Actually, let's start. Just making some let's move component here, scalar because it's like quite reusable part. I'm not sure if it's usable for a like in a general sense, but I guess it probably doesn't need IO, does it need canvas? Yes, for sure. Core, paint, paint, no. Protocols, for sure. UI, no. And window, also no. Okay. Direct, 
hard point, yes. Okay, uh, after closable, yeah, this is for scalar. And we want to scalar and scalar and scalar, scalar, okay. So like this, right? And it still works, no difference. Okay, that's good. The second thing that we want to move is controls, and I'm not sure what safe add is used in controls, right? And only in controls, okay, cool. So yeah, second thing we want to extract is controls. Again, we do the same thing here. Just call it controls. Uh, controls. And what we want is controls, visual controls, timer, heights, and light controls. Okay. Okay, so uh, this is what we need. The only problem here is basically controls, controls. We need to pass uh, this. Okay. So basically instead of current and we make current, 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 current. And the only place where we actually need current uh, is here. Which is pretty good. So it means when current changes in con inside controls, only this part will change. So this is quite, quite well. Again, probably no I/O, no scalar for sure. Canvas no, no paint for sure. UI yes, window no. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, no, probably should write a plugin that optimizes uh, require forms. Okay, 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 okay. There is all controls visible, we set controls timer. I just like uh, resets uh, to go in the order of declaration. Oh, redraws, okay, so the redraw is, is um, no, fuck. Well, I guess we have redraw on. No. Okay, so redraw is tricky. <laughs> um, let's comment it out for now and we'll think of something. But redraw is tricky. But we'll, we'll think of something. Okay, so we have controls here and we have uh, also thing here and we have this yeah, controls okay okay um Also need slides count. Fuck. <laughs> um, yeah, this, we can make this all parameterizable, right? Basically, pass slides here. Um, Kind of. I don't know. Well, I mean, I know, I don't know. I'm not sure about this one, but uh, yeah, slides for sure. Uh, save add x y um, max limit. 
front or front okay so basically to from um this is like this this is like this this is like this and this is like this okay uh controls show control stack okay so why isn't this working no such method no such namespace controls yeah of course um yeah okay kind of works right but uh this doesn't work because well this is strange why doesn't this work Oh. Wait, what? I guess. No, wait. Yeah, something is broke. Oh, I forgot about this one. Okay. Okay, now it works. And it um, <laughs> it redraws, but, but why? Because it changed current, right? I mean, no, it doesn't redraw. Okay, I mean, this should disappear, but it doesn't. Okay, so I guess we have to pass redraw as well. Or, or we can do we can subscribe to it ourselves. Okay. And disappear. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> okay, cool. So we extracted. Um, so what we did, right? We extracted um, controls, and our app now finally fits on one screen, which is perfect in my opinion. Um, we have slides. I guess you can add padding to labels here. Right, so that uh, yeah. Okay, let's do Okay, so this is uh, maybe a little bit too much effort, but kind of boom. Okay. I guess, I guess, you know what, you know what we should do? We, we should do, um, yeah, wait, it's one sec. Scalar um, UI field. Um, uh, UI rect paint fill 
zero x f f f f f f f f. So this will create white background for every slide ish. Well, actually, for to the area that um, we currently consider render, we later we'll change this gray to back to white, so it will, would be seamless. I actually can can do this now just to. No, I can't do this now because it's, it's a window. Uh, we'll change. <laughs> no, I can, of course, I can do. What, 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 uh, um, yeah, and this is like uh, now it's seamless. Um, boom. Yeah, that's, that's, that's your presentation. Uh, but I don't know. E e e e e just for the sake of uh, debugging, like understanding what's going on, I prefer to have to actually have the background. Okay, and we don't scale this bottom part, right? Yeah, we don't. And it, we render it transparent, which is kind of kind of what we want. Yeah, let's do bullet list. Let's do bullet list. Hmm. We have icon here, which is also good. Uh, yeah, let's let's commit this because we did a lot of changes for now, right? Let's go here, 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 here. Okay, extracted slides, uh, extracted scalar and controls. Slide zero image. Ah, scalar is new, so we like uh, didn't commit it in, in the main namespace, so it's like just it's like you just implemented it. Uh huh. Image delete slide. Yeah. Boom. Bullet list. Our bullet list is. Boring. Uh, it is boring if you don't want to do like tricky layouts, like like header on the top, always and rest. Hey, anyway, but uh, but uh, yeah, let's let's do. Let's call it Y closure, yes. Yeah, Y closure, why not? Um, and we want column out of it, right? And we want UI interpose, UI gap 010. Um, okay, will this work? No, oh, it's just interpose, it's just this is closure function. Yes, yeah, so it kind of works, right? Uh, just to add some bullets. Bullets are, I think this, <gasps> we can add. Wow. These are cool bullets, I mean. So what do you think should we use? These bullets, these bullets. Ah, this is okay. Uh, yeah, so here uh, with context, we need double-sized font, right? So basically font UI is going to be um, um, it's, it's tricky. <laughs> uh, we can actually allocate font UI here, but let's see how it is allocated. The face UI. Yeah, 
Yeah, we need face UI. Okay, so the way it goes is we're going to use UI. Do we want to use different font, like Fira Quad? We need me. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, do we want to use a different font? I don't know. I don't know. But uh, yeah, let's do let's do it this way. Typeface is going to be this, right? Um, yeah, but we need like typeface, and we need font, okay? The font he header uh, is gonna be font make, and this is we copy this from him. We make this cap size, face UI. Um, now the trick is it depends. Okay. <laughs> um, type face. Type face. Little scale anyway, right? Uh, font UI font handler. This should work. It kind of works. Yeah, I'm not sure about this interpose. Maybe we will do it like this. Um, yeah, uh, I mean, yeah. Um, one uh, REPL. Another one, but like why we want closure? Speed. Uh, yeah, we want gaps, uh, but yeah, I know, uh, UI gap 0, 020, UI gap 0, 010, okay, so, eh, kind of, does it look boring? It looks super boring, um, probably want different font for this, right? Do I have Martian Mono? I probably even if I do, let's use Martian Mono. I know I'm supposed to use Fira code, but um, nah. let's download this. Wait, sources are sources or? No, no, we don't need this releases. Yeah, let's download this. Do we want OTF or TTF or probably OTF? Okay, so boom. Boom. Which one do we want? We probably want. Well, let's copy everything. Yes. Uh, humble deck resources. And play with it. So we probably want STD regular. So it's basically like this. Um, Okay, so this is Okay, but uh, <laughs> uh, it doesn't have this left triangle thingy. Uh, 
that's unfortunate. Well, I guess we should use SVG here, right? Or why doesn't it use? Why doesn't it render like what's what this? Why doesn't it render fallback font? I wonder. Hmm. But uh, yeah, my point is also we can use narrow. So I think narrow is this. Yes. And he also has CN narrow, so I guess CNX. Wait, CNX? What is CN? Ah, this probably slight is both, so CNRG. I okay, guess so let's try CNRG. So just, it's super narrow this way, right? Um, mm -hmm. Should we make it medium? Let's try it for all again. Maybe four headers. No. Let's use normal, normal. Let's do the ring, RJ. Let's do the RJ. Yes. I am not sure. I, may, I might uh, change it. And also, we can sync. We can do this like this. Yes. Yes. Face UI um, now. Um, okay, let's do I don't know, hundred by hundred, hundred by hundred. Maybe there is a nice triangle here next to the. We can use this, we can use this, we can certainly use this. We can use it here. No, I no, don't want to invert it. We can use this, but it doesn't mean what I think it means. We can use also those, like go to the beginning, go to the end. Right, if I have it properly. Complicates the UI, but uh, don't give you much, really. Yes, yeah, so I don't like this that much, but I do kind of like the shape of those. So I'm going to copy those. I'm gonna to paste it here, uh, flatten, copy it here, um, certainness, like make it like this. It's gonna be an SVG, okay? Uh, we don't need uh, what? Okay, uh, we don't need rectangle here. We don't even need the background. So we want to export this with G. Uh, it's gonna be pref, and I want to duplicate. Do this called next. And we export to layers. Now I have to remember how I did SVG. Oh, okay, it's so simple. Uh, we go to controls. Uh, this is here. Okay. Resources breath and stay here. As you see, there is no difference for um, 
Okay, so what we did, <laughs> we did get background. I think I, I thought I, oh yeah, I didn't click it. Of course I didn't click it. Um, wait, and it has to be white, right? So yeah, okay, so, so background is gonna be like CCC or something, and this is gonna be FFF. Game expert to where safe replace. Yeah, it's actually. I'm not sure why it reloaded. Um, it probably shouldn't. But I guess it makes sense to do, you know, def, pref. So that we can reuse the same values and not read like not reread -re every time um, we change our UI. Okay. So we don't right. Okay, so this is our bullet list. Uh, do we want something in here? What we can have is, for example, like this, UE rect pain field zero UI gap. So this gives us underline. Yeah, well, yeah, well, well, well. <laughs> okay, so this probably is too big, so I want this to be like this. Now it's, uh, I don't see the difference at all. Font body is not used, font header, like, wait, like now it's like 20, what? This is something. Okay, yeah, let's do Okay, whatever. Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, what, like this. Yeah. Are they even the same? They're not the same, right? Why aren't they the same? Wait, why aren't they the same? Now I'm freaking out. Okay, 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 okay. Let's try uh, this. Huh. Didn't change anything. This is the same actually, maybe it's the same, right? I'm just freaking out for some reason. Maybe because the Apple is all caps, it feels bigger. 
Okay. Now it feels bigger. And it was f 40. I think it's okay. Yeah, I probably want, would want to change the front or something else, but okay, for now it's okay. Um, I probably want this to be bigger. Not sure why they're so small. I think I need to pass. feels like okay, right? If I make 10, it's gonna be too small, maybe 14. I just want to balance out the like, font of this. Okay, I also, I didn't check, but let's do this because it's probably going to overflow. No? Okay. Yeah, it's b it barely fits, right? So, um, this font like this, we probably want 70. Yeah, it's okay. So, we don't want this for now, but... Okay, uh, well, uh, I think this is kind of presentation for closure. Let's, let's commit it. Let's commit it. Uh, do we have many changes? No, I don't have many changes. Um, so it's okay. Stage, stage, stage. So the trick with the font is... Uh, Okay, um, <laughs> let me explain what the problem here is. Maybe I should use fear code. Fear code kind of looks okay too. Well, oh, none of the monospace fonts look good. Slide, but I don't know. It looks kind of okay. Um, yeah, so the, the problem with fonts. The whole UI is rendered dynamically from um, scale. Okay. Um, so we know we only know scale uh, inside render function. Basically, we don't know a static. Like I don't know which scale will be here. Like it will be two point oh, but I cannot rely on it. Uh, Let's commit. Let's co let's commit first, and then I'll explain. Because what we did is like not correct. Martian mono uh, SVG icons in controls bullet list with header. Okay. I press the button. Yeah, I press the button. Okay. So the problem, right? Um, the problem. the problem the problem is uh the scale will is only known dynamically at runtime right so inside i don't know component i can make it dynamic and uh, lock onto the scale now uh, 
this is all right right um, I can actually put huh Actually, I can actually, yeah, and uh, th that's why I, this is wrong, like, b because this font, well, because we scale dynamically this part, for this part, it doesn't matter at all, right? But for this part, for example, if I, for example, go to a screen with different uh, scale factor, like non-retina screen, for example, I plug in a projector, and uh, it has a scale factor of one, right? It's just full HD with no retina. This will be... Too big because font size 20 is actually too big so this is in unscaled units um so we need to dynamically somehow depend on font size which is tricky because you don't uh, you also want to only initialize fonts once right um but yeah there are the ways to do that so one is we you do your dynamic and you do scale scale or even uh, key scale context right you do let font ui like this font header or font h1 i don't know let's go called font h1 it's 30 right to search yes uh, uh, and, and here yeah here uh, you need scale multiplied by 10 and here uh, scale multiplied by 15 okay um, font UI and also UI with context Font H1, font H1. So basically, what we do is trick here. What? Ah, oh, yeah, we need to do that context. Uh, we put dynamic on the very top level that depends on scale, which is correct thing to do. The problem is uh, you can only use the scale inside, right? So we put it on context. Uh, it's font UI, font UI is default. Um, face UI, we're also going to use typeface. Uh, this is extra, which we put here, and basically we remove both of those, which would be nice, but. Uh, and basically your dynamic context are uh, font h1 keys font h1 context right and this is also kind of unfortunate right this is too um too wordy. I don't like how wordy it is. But now it's uh, like this will scale always, but this part will scale properly with what we needed to scale um, with different screens. Okay, so I don't need. Oh, kind of. We can keep this open. I don't need this. There is a message. Is there is a new macos? Well, this is new macos. Well, beta five or whatever. Ventura beta something I didn't write it how which exactly beta it is. Okay, so now we have fonts, we can do this. Uh how long have we been going? Like three and a half hour. Yeah, this is long. Okay, let me finish this, I guess. We commit this. Uh, dynamically scale fonts depending on scale. And yeah. uh, this is too wordy, for example, right? Uh, this context. Uh, 
I, I find it worthy. And especially this, like I, I need one construct to extract something from context, another to put it into context. And yeah, it's kind of uh, maybe formatted like this will be better, but still. Okay, uh, thank you for watching, I guess. Let's, let's wrap up. It's been a long time. Uh, I'll publish the recording on YouTube. And hopefully it was fun. We made a new application. We made this, this thingy that let you click. Make your bot listener. We made scale to full screen. We made multiple font sizes. We made bullets, um, images, so basically everything, yeah. I can actually make this SVG, I guess, if I want to. If I want to, maybe eventually. Yeah, and we also drew first slide, which is. I'm happy that we did it. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, join me next time. Hope you like humble UI when it's ready. Bye bye.